Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I love macrame, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Today, I am so excited because we're doing a DIY project. I have been obsessed with the look of like caning on furniture <laughs> for quite a long time now. I have been wanting to do a caning project, like furniture project for so long, but didn't know where to find caning. I did see some on Amazon, but it wasn't very, like it wasn't a big amount, but I found a store in town that had some and literally it was like their last bit of stock and then they're not making it anymore. So if you're in Canada, you're welcome to check out Lee Valley. That's where I got mine. Um, I can link it down below, but I guess they said they're not going to be making it anymore. I don't know. A while back, I did this DIY Ikea Calyx, the cube shelf, like update. I added these cupboards. It was actually redoing something that the Sorry Girls did. I will link that video down below. Basically, we're going to be using my Ikea Calyx cube shelf and we're going to cut the doors that I put on there, sand them down, add some caning. I'm just gonna film this video very casually. My husband's actually gonna do like 90% of it for me because I'm living that newborn mom life. So he's gonna actually do the DIY for me. I will walk you guys through it. And of course, I will link that Sorry Girls blog down below because they have a lot of the measurements for like the shelf doors and stuff like that if anybody wanted to make it themselves so let me show you guys what this cupboard looks like right now and i'll show you the caning and we'll go from there here is the cupboard that we made over don't mind don't mind stuff on the ground and this is a toy cupboard for my son we added these doors and these hinges and these handles so what we're gonna do is cut the inside like cut a hole basically and then add the caning behind it here is the caning that I bought I will say it was not cheap I wish it was but it's really beautiful and I think we'll have extra so maybe I can do another project in the future we took off the doors well my husband took off the doors and we decided to do two and a half inches in all around I was debating two inches because I think a little skinnier would maybe look better, but the handles are right here and it's just going to be easier to not have to redo the handles. So it works out nice to just kind of have it right at two and a half. So he went, handles. oh, you got the handles. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So we went ahead and drew the drew a line all the way around and we don't actually own a jigsaw. So my husband's going to use a circular saw. You really should use a jigsaw, but we don't own one. And if you use a jigsaw, you can like drill holes on all the corners and then use your jigsaw to go from spot to spot. But we don't have that. So we're just going to hope for the best and use a circular saw. It worked out with the circular saw. So this is the door all cut. And then this is one door sanded and you can see the darker stain on the other. We got the doors all sanded down mm -hmm. and the holes cut out in the middle back to their raw wood. So now, now we are going to cut a strip of caning and use our staple gun to staple it to the back. Now that the caning is all on, the last thing I decided to do, because this is a cupboard door for a toy cupboard that I use, I decided to use my hot glue gun and some scrap drop cloth fabric that I have and hot glue all of the edges. So I realized this is not the cutest thing on the inside, but there's no sharp things. I think if I had wanted it to look like really nice, I could have gotten like really, really 
thin um, pieces of wood and then I could have like done a whole edge of thin wood on top and it would have like looked better but you know what that's totally okay this is like the cheap DIY way to do it so I am just hot gluing and it totally lays flat and then I don't have to worry about the edges fraying over time and eventually like coming apart so now it's like all flat and sealed down. I have this belt that I already cut the end of it off and I decided to not use the handles. I'll show you guys what they look like. I just thought I wanted to go for a different look. So I'm going to be making little leather poles out of this dollar thrift store belt that I have. I just cut one piece that's this long and essentially we just fold it in half and then I use a nail right through it and use this as my little like door pole. The next thing that I just did was use this tiny little screwdriver, fold it in half, and I just pushed it into the belt and it just made a hole really nicely. This is what the handles currently look like, but I don't feel like they're the right style that I'm going for anymore. So we are gonna just have to use wood filler to fill these little holes. You might be able to tell, but I think that'll just be the best solution. So I'm gonna take these off again and add my new leather handles. I have measured and marked two spots where I'm going to now screw in my leather poles. Just putting the doors on. This is the wood filler that we picked up to fill these little handle holes. And we just kind of pushed it in there, smudged it down. We ended up repeating this process like four times. Then we kind of used this little sander, sanded it. And here's how it looks. You almost can't see them at all. So I was very happy. One thing I didn't mention was the legs on the cupboard. And actually, it's kind of a random thing of me. If you're going to do this project, obviously just keep them the natural wood that you can buy them in. But I had thrifted these little mid-century legs. And when I had sanded them down months ago, they were different okay. color wood. So I knew I couldn't sand them down to a natural wood. So I actually just decided to paint them and have them kind of look like wood, but it actually turned out. So let me show you. One other fun thing we added to the cupboard because previously it would never like fully shut for us. So we got those magnet clasps and added them and now the door's shut and it's awesome and I'll show you. Are you guys ready to see this finished product? Do you remember what it looked like before? And here it is now. I am so in love with how this caning DIY cupboard turned out. What a fun Ikea Calyx upcycle. I hope it inspired you guys. Maybe you want to use caning for a project or anything like that, or just how to take an Ikea Calyx cover, redo it. So I hope that this inspired you to maybe make your own thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. If you know somebody who might enjoy this video, feel free to share it. That helps me out a ton. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.